Now, I wanted Tim Hudak to come on this program and talk to us about this very matter. Unfortunately, he wasn't available. We hope, uh, we hope we'll continue. We hope he'll be on the show again shortly. But uh, I didn't want any PC backbencher to come on. I didn't want the talking points. I wanted someone who would just offer, offer unhinged commentary. So, of course, for that, we go to the arena host, Michael Corin. Michael, thanks for joining us. Mm, unhinged to you. <laughs> unhinged. All right. So what, what do you think of my assessment that obviously no one's going to have a problem with really critiquing the liberals for all their scandals, but the idea that we need to see more out of the opposition. I don't think they've risen to the occasion with Orange eHealth or any of this. They haven't done it in years. Uh, look, um, party invitations drying up as I speak. It's not a particularly impressive caucus. And Mr. Hudak, the leader, I mean, he's a very decent fellow. You meet him, he's, he's a nice guy. However, in last election, and I mean this with no disrespect at all, but this constant mentioning of, of, of the couple's child. She was terribly ill, I'm very sorry, but Miller thought this, Miller thought that. It, it, was, it was nauseating. This girl should be kept out of, of politics. They were using her. And then when McGinty stood down, and McGinty, it was a dreadful premier. He made this a, a have-not province. I mean, he, he wasn't honest. He, he never answers a question. And yet there was Tim Hudak almost crying. He, he was lacrimose. He was tearful in talking about this great leader stepping down. This is not the way you win elections. The Liberals learned that long ago. So I don't think they have the right leader. And, and Michael, my, my problem is it's not even winning elections. It doesn't even show respect for the fact that Ontario has been just rapaciously Good tossed point. around by these people for 10 years. I mean, whether or not what they're doing, what they're doing is terrible politicking, but it's also just terrible policy, too. Well, I, I agree with you. I, but again, I you know Peter Sherman. I've known Peter for many years. We worked together at to News Talk 1010 Radio. I, I like him and all that. But if you want someone who I think can take the Tory party in Ontario uh, to victory, become premier of Ontario and do a very good job, I don't know, I, I can't imagine he'd do it, but it would be John Baird. John Baird, who was a very successful MPP, who's now a very successful MP and federal politician and leading cabinet minister, he is tough enough and he has the, I suppose, the socially progressive credentials that, that he could be a wonderful Ontario Premier. But there's no one else in that caucus who I find impressive or who I think could actually lead the party. They, may, they might win it, but not for long. The, the Liberals in, in, in Ontario are better at the game than the Tories are now. Michael, I've, I've got a graphic to, to put up on the screen there. It shows Ontario's rising debt burden. I mean, it's pretty clear. Everyone's been talking about it. But we just can't show it enough. It's practically doubling yep. since McGuinty came to office. My question again, and my worry, is we look at facts when we see so-called fiscal conservatives, they come into office, and they maybe do some fiscal, some conservative things, but they don't end up addressing these things. I mean, is there hope that we can get a, a PC party leader or premier who really says, you know what, you know, no more nonsense? Because I can guarantee you, the election a year ago, if it had been Mike Harris, he would have been Saturn devouring his children. I mean, I mean, McGinty would have just just been toast. Mm, I, I agree with you. Since Mike Harris, John Tory was leader again, a man of enormous integrity, but not a, um, a hardline conservative. Uh, Tim Hudak now, I don't think he can do the job. I mentioned John Baird. I think he could do it. But no, they're, they're not a fiscally conservative party. You've had this this uh, obsession with consensus. We must all pretend that we're in the middle. Well, why should we pretend we are in the middle? M M McGinty has done a very bad job. He spent like a drunken sailor, but the Conservatives don't have any viable alternatives. This is part of the problem in the United States. Y y you keep being told by the experts, don't put up a hardline Conservative. Put up someone who is likable and won't offend and, and, and anger people or frighten people. People aren't frightened anymore. They're frightened in Ontario of the idea that their kids will live in a bankrupt province. They and can't why afford don't, healthcare and education. If they don't want to offend people, Fine, that's fine, but just don't go into public office. Well, I don't I, I, get that. Why are people running for office and then not doing the things that they claim they want to do as a motivation for entering office? Well, you know this as, as well as I do. Sometimes it, it's the end in itself, and it's just having power for the sake of having power. It's not that they're particularly corrupt people, but they've forgotten why they're there. They, they oppose. I mean, I can think of people who, who work in, in backroom offices of the Liberals who have no ideology at all. They simply want to win. And they're, they're rather pale northern versions of, of the West Wing, and it's pathetic. It's an attack. It's a rape of democracy. But what we have in the provincial conservatives are a group of relatively impressive, relatively nice people who will relatively lose even the next election against a Liberal Party that should be devastated by Michael, I, I, I wish that weren't true. Sadly, I think it is. And folks, I think it's really telling that Michael, Michael just rather casually said and they're not a fiscally conservative party. It, it's sad, but maybe it's true. Michael, thanks so much for joining us as always. You can catch him every night in the arena.
Tell me your thoughts on this. You can email me, anthony.fury at sunmedia.ca. Here's what's coming up.